was saved when I was little. I asked my mom to like, and we were on our way back from like school or I think it was preschool. And I was just like, I want to get saved while we were in the car. And she was like, okay. So I like grew up in a family where like church and God was like the center of everything. And that's great. Um, but then I just like slowly felt myself like getting away from God. But like, I was just like, yeah, like I know God, it's great. And then like one thing would happen. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna, that God didn't do that. I just, that was me. And then another thing would happen. I was like, oh, that was me. Like everyone telling me that I have like this purpose. And I'm just like, well, maybe God doesn't have that purpose for me. And maybe I'm just like, one of those people in like the midst of like thousands and I just started to like really drift off and not really like share who I was with people like it was definitely a mask and like you see me I'm very happy and stuff and I acted like I was happy but I wasn't and it got like really bad and and uh I just didn't really see a point in like going forward in life like there was like what's the point of living life when there's no purpose and um just one thing after the other after the other which may seem like little things but it was like a lot and not like having God there like I knew that God was there like I kept telling myself that but I never believed it like I never let myself believe that like oh I'm okay like it's gonna be okay this is just like a down it's just like a valley but it like that was it I just felt like I was stuck that like I fell in this pit and I wasn't ever getting out and I was done and it, it broke me inside and I never felt like I was gonna get like I I planned what I was going to do and I never thought that I would like get to that point of like I'm just going to go and do it until like I just was completely broken and I was like I'm going to do something and, and I was like this is this isn't it and so I for some reason texted one of my friends about it and they were like you know I'm going to tell your mom if you don't and I was like and like sitting in a car telling my mom that like broke me and I could tell it broke her. So like, we were just like, we, my mom was like, okay, we're gonna handle this. It's gonna be okay, we're, we're, God's got this. And we were in church and I, I, worship is like my thing, like it's my jam. And it was, just, it was nothing. I was sitting there like, okay, this is. And we actually, when we came to the avenue, one Sunday after I told her, there, it wasn't even Pastor Justin that was speaking. It was, um, I forgot his name. But he was like from Georgia or something. And he came and he said, he said these exact words. He was like, you've got this. You're going to get through this. And I didn't feel alone. I looked around and saw people raising their hands that, had, that are going through the same thing that I'm going through. And I was like, I'm not alone and I am going to get through this. And like the devil didn't win but then life got me again and I was down and I was like okay like I was there I was on top of it like God is great and then it's just like sucker punched and I was like what's going on and one Sunday Pastor Justin wasn't even talking about like depression or anything and then at the very end he was like I just feel like the Holy Spirit really needs me to like just somebody in this room needs to hear that it's going to be it's going to be okay like the suicide notes those suicide attempts it's going to be gone and i turned around to my mom and i grabbed my phone and i showed her my latest suicide note i deleted all of that and came up to the front where i was hugged by people that had just come to this church hugged and t was told that i was going to be okay and i didn't feel awkward I didn't feel scared I felt at home in a place where I was once lost and I went home and I got my actual 
like physical copy and I ripped it up with my family. And since then, I struggled with panic, panic attacks. I haven't had many. And now that when I do fall back, like especially being quarantined in a house for two weeks with all this stuff going on, I, the enemy was like, I'm gonna get you down. I was like, nope, not today. And I was like, I'll put worship music on. I was like, you know what? The enemy doesn't want me in this church, but I'm still gonna have church here because that's what Pastor Justin said. Like, I'm gonna have, I have to do it on my, with on my own if the enemy's gonna try to get it. That God is here and like having worship online, I was just like, nope, you're not gonna win today. And so now I'm like actually really happy. And instead of following, like just going through the days and just like, oh, this bad thing happened and this bad thing happened. I'm just like, you know what? I woke up today. You know, I have a, a great family that like made me laugh today. That yeah, I may have cried. Yeah, I may have let the enemy win for a second, but I got back up. I'm fine now. And that's like amazing. My name is Faith. I have a mark on the Y wall. I am one.